So, bless you. Okay. So, we have our half reactions. The zinc 2 plus, or the zinc solid, goes to zinc 2 plus, plus 2 electrons. And we have the 2 H plus aqueous, plus 2 electrons, goes to H2 gas. Now let's try to draw the cell out. So, uh, make a little short. Okay, which one's the anode, top or bottom? The top, the one that's oxidized is the anode, and that'd be the top one. So this is oxidized, and this is reduced. So the top one's going to be the anode, so one on the left-hand side. But you can still draw it in your template. So I'm drawing each piece, now I'm drawing the salt bridge. So there's my template. It doesn't really matter what I'm doing. In most cases, it's going to look like this. The left-hand side, the oxidation, the anode, is a little easier. So let's start with that one. OK, so for this one, we have a zinc. And that's a solid right there. Uh, the zinc is coming off as zinc 2 plus. Uh, and let's say our salt bridge is potassium nitrate, so you'd have a zinc nitrate, like that. And have a certain molarity, whatever the molarity is. Uh, and then your electrons, you're losing electrons, so that'd be going round in the bend here, going that way. On the right hand side, it's a little crazier. First of all, there's no metal. That's aqueous, that's a gas. Since there's no metal, we're going to pick our own metal for the electrodes. So we'll put platinum. So. Okay? It's my favorite to pick when we don't have one. Uh, the other thing is, what the heck are we going to do with this gas? So first, let's put the H plus aqueous. That's going, you know it's going to go towards the metal. The electrode is where the reaction is going to take place. But it's not going to stick on, it's going to be a gas. And so there's different ways that different diagrams do this, but basically it's going to come off and bubble, bubble out as H2. So, and usually, it's not uncommon for people to actually write the word bubble, and it's bubbling out, so you actually see bubbles. If it was going the reverse direction, you'd have it H2 and the arrow going in, bubbling in. Okay? This time it's going out as a product, so it'd go that way. Uh, in this case, if you look on your table, the zinc is negative 0.76 for the oxidation for the reduction, so it's positive 0 0.76 here. This is the standard hydrogen electrode, so it's zero. So the overall voltage is 0 0.76. So if you had a little voltmeter, it would be reading 0 0.76 volts. Right there. 